If you are struggling to put out more work, maybe because you want to earn more money or create enough time so that you can finally take that long-awaited vacation to the Bahamas, don't worry. I have you covered with the 8 easiest productivity habits that will make you more productive than before. 1. Delegate 80% of your work. According to the 80th 20th principle, you don't need to stress too much to become more productive because 20% of the work you do accounts for 80% of the outcome. So why bother too much with the other 80% of your work that only contributes 20% to the entire outcome when you can just delegate it to another person? This law suggests that you figure out the activities that earn you the most amount of money or time or both and double down on it while delegating the less interesting and more boring work to others. In that way, you will have enough time at your disposal to finally take that dream vacation. 2. Incentivize people. You don't have to do anything if you don't really want to do it. And here's how. Simply incentivize others to do it for you. If it is your turn to clean the toilet or your week to go buy groceries and you don't want to because you want to hang out with friends or do something more fun, simply attach a dollar bill of your choosing to the grocery list and hand it to your boyfriend, spouse or sibling and the rest is history. You see, you are lazy but productive. 3. Do little favors first and then ask for bigger favors later. In his book, The Psychology of Influence, Robert Chardini talks of the law of reciprocity, which compares people to act in the same way or feel the same way for someone as the person felt for them. In other words, this law compares you to return a favor. For example, if you grab a meal with a friend and they pay the bill, the next time you guys go out, you will feel more compelled to pay the bill because the law of reciprocity is at work. So how do you use this law to increase your productivity? Like I said earlier, be the first to genuinely do little favors to others and then ask for bigger ones later. 4. Deliberately choose to speak good about others. Try to be another person's source of happiness, another person's source of strength and hope. Be that person who reminds others that they believe in them so that when you need the same validation to stay productive, they will genuinely and honestly reciprocate your goodwill. 5. Give everybody a listening ear, for ideas can come from anyone. A single hand can't tie a bundle. So, in order to be and stay productive, you need to be generous with your listening. You and I know that you love it when people listen to you. So why not do the same favor to another? Because ideas can come from anywhere and from anybody. Most of the ideas, strategies and techniques you see successful people using to stay productive are other people's ideas. 6. Be a mentor and not a boss. The most productive teams are often led by individuals who act like mentors instead of bosses. Because mentors listen while bosses command. Mentors are tolerant while bosses are very unforgiving. You need to be a mentor in order to be productive. By being a mentor, you assume the sole duty of filling your team with up-to-date information and bringing them to the same level of reasoning as you so that as a team, together, everyone achieves more. Bosses don't want to share ideas because they want to be the only one that knows in order to intimidate and maintain their grip over their subordinates and to take all the glory of teamwork. Don't be a boss if you want to be productive. 7. Be tolerating. Human nature is not perfect. It will be too much of me asking you to forgive and forget because only children are capable of both. But at least try to forgive others. Being tolerant and forgiving shields you from worrying and stress because stress hinders productivity and makes you really lazy. 8. Have a good rest at the end of each productive day. Sleep scientists say, on average, the adult human needs between 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night. 
After a very busy day of delegating 80% of your work to others and incentivizing them to do the work you despise, and after being exhausted from doing little favors, deliberately speaking well of others, mentoring and listening to everyone, the most logical thing to do is to accord yourself at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Having enough sleep allows your body, mind and spirit to heal, recharge and ready for another hectic productive day.